Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So for this problem, what we're going to do is I have x cubed minus 9 divided by x squared plus 1. And when using long division, we got to make sure that we put um, our 0 for our coefficients for our placeholders of the variables that we don't have. So for instance, I have x squared plus 1. I do not have a linear term, so I'm going to write this as x squared plus 0x plus 1 divides into, and again, here I don't have a squared term or a linear term, so I'm going to put zero coefficients in for both of those. And it's just really important to help you so you're not getting off track and seeing you know, what you're subtracting and multiplying by when you're trying to do this. Um, and remember that since I don't have a squared term, 0 times x squared is still there. It's just 0 times x squared is just 0. So that's why we didn't have to write it into our polynomial. However, the algorithm for division by law or division of a polynomial is the same. x squared goes into x cubed how many times? Goes in there, x times. So you write x times x squared is x cubed. Then x times uh, 0x squared is going to be, again, 0x squared. x times 1 is just going to give us with x. Now again, we subtract the whole first term. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0x cubed. I don't need to write it. 0x squared minus 0x squared is 0x squared. I don't need to write it. 0x squared minus x squared is actually a negative x squared. And then negative 9 minus, you could write a 0 right there, is going to be negative 9. Now, the next thing I look at this is, does x squared divide into negative x? Since it does not divide into negative x, this, ladies and gentlemen, is my remainder. right? So that means that x squared plus 1 divides into x cubed minus 9x times with the remainder. I'm just going to take add negative x minus 9. You take your remainder and divide it by your divisor, which is x squared plus 1. All right. So remember, whenever you have a remainder, just take your remainder, divide it by your divisor, and add it to the quotient that you know, the rest of your quotient went in. So again, the answer to the, so this polynomial does not evenly divide into that. Um, and so we're left with a quotient with our remainder. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.